You know, well, how do I learn? How did I learn? How was I taught? You know, I was taught that if you wanted to play the violin, you had to do this, 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 this. You wanted to learn how to play electric guitar, or drums, or synthesizers. You had to do this, this, this. Well, what happens when we stop thinking that way? What can we learn when we close our mouth and observe and watch? Now, what, what, what happens then? Does everything have to be said? Up to me is two things that are seemingly disparate, two things that have obvious difference coming together in an unusual, unobvious, unexpected way. And the stage itself becomes a museum, if you will. The stage itself becomes a canvas upon which different musical ensembles are presented. I want them to be seen. We want to be seen and heard. This concert represented those ideas, made up entirely of young people. I love music, I love sharing the idea of music, and I hope that that notion of sharing, compassion, cooperation, collaboration, all the things that are necessary in presenting a good show makes for good people. The concept of this project is presenting young, local, musical talent. My job is that I was to come in as artistic director and frame and present a concert made up entirely of young people. As a composer, that's what a composer does. I frame things. I put music and musical ideas into a logical order and form and okay. present it to an audience. One in space, two in guitar, three in violin, four in horn. I think the greatest gain that we got from doing this is just to be able to open yourself up to new ideas, to hear all these other groups and do things with your instrument that you never thought possible, or, but to hear someone else and think, hey, well, you know, I could do that. How could, how could we work that in? How can, how can we make that happen? And just have a completely new sound come out of it. What I like most about playing with Shabilkis is that, you know, we have our style, but they have that swing dance kind of, kind of feeling to it. I actually don't often work with a live band, so this was kind of an eye-opening experience for me. Working with the guys back here and going to the studio and recording with them was a really, really cool experience. It taught me how to communicate with them, taught me how to be professional and keep in touch with everyone and link everything together and set up rehearsals and it was a really, really cool experience. had DJ Scientific um, from New York. He's um, great with the turntables, he uses a lot of the same programs I do. There's like probably 20 things that he showed me that I hadn't known before 10 minutes ago. Now you're like, all right, so I want this and this to play at the same time. Okay. So it's basically a record that reads MP3s. So it's a control signal, as you see, as I scratch, you see the sound, and then I let it go. And I combine techno with bluegrass maybe put in some metal, some klezmer music, and it's a completely new style of its own. And now I'm able to put them into something I'm gonna do later tonight. The mashup experience has been incredible. Like working with these guys, getting to take two completely different songs and put them together has been amazing. It was a little tricky because our song was really jazzy and their song was very post-melodic glam metal, but it worked out.
shows and there's nothing like this. I mean, it kind of taught me how to work with other people, like the mashups, for instance. It's, who would have ever thought that bluegrass would go in with techno and rock or something like that? I mean, there's always a way to make it work and it happens. I was just blown away by what happens behind the scenes. You can sit in an audience and see a concert and walk out and you not know what took place, how it got there. You just think it just fell into place. As far as preparing for the career of music, I think this is about as much of a taste of it as it gets. I mean, this is you know, not a small thing. This is the Moore Theater in Seattle. Just to be open to all genres, if I get called for a gig, I will know how to handle it. it it's taught me to be you know, very flexible. I feel I've gained the ability to work with others who sound nothing like what I was raised on, what I grew up liking, what I even listen to now. I've managed to build a relationship with, with other musicians who listen to something completely different. This is a great place, a great place to perform. And it's still such a great theater and I love being here. It's very professional and collaborations are great. And it's cool how you can make everything come together. These young people represent not only different sonic ideas, but different political ideas, different values. And I am always trying to find a way to collectively present the ideas of the individual. And I think there's something about the lone violinist that is different than the lone ballerina. And there's something about rock music that is different than klezmer music. And there's certainly something different about a laptopist and a drum kit player, or a pianist, or a violinist, or a bassist. I hope that these young people realize how interconnected their lives are, that the differences are easy. But of course, the real art lies in what do we share in common? The collective idea that resonates, you know? I think that's what more music at the more and my job is.